in the Myers-Briggs type indicator, there's a really interesting concept called inspirational self, the ideal version of yourself. And something to remember is the ideal version of yourself is something different than the actual version of yourself. So you have your actual personality type like INFP or ENTJ, and you have your inspirational version of your better version of yourself. And that is anything that you see yourself wanting to develop or improve on that you feel is above your current level. So it's something you might want to do or might feel inspired by or something you might value or find important that you feel you are not fit to do at the current level you are. Now, the inspirational self is always something in flux because uh, you are constantly improving and doing things that you previously thought impossible. The inspirational self is best represented by the auxiliary function, so the secondary function in the cognitive function hierarchy. But it can also be represented by the fifth function or the inspirational self, the shadow self that is hidden from you in the practical cognitive function theory. I want to argue that the Everyone should be working on and improving on themselves and setting unrealistic goals and expectations for themselves. You should always aim a little higher than what you think is possible. And I would say that the reason why is because you need to get a steady influx of new energy and new motivation into your life. A lot of people get stuck in these ruts where they're constantly feeling like they're moving forward and working hard and doing things, but never getting anywhere for it. That often means that you're doing things that were, are within your normal spectrum of your personality type. You're trying to use the same strategy over and over to save the same problem, to solve the same problem. But however, this is not going to be easy. And sometimes your problems cannot be solved by constantly jumping into the same wall over and over again. So what you want to do is you want to learn new strategies. And if you feel like you're going nowhere, what you want to do is you want to learn new strategies. You want to learn something. So you want to go out and you want to meet new people or you want to read new books or you want to start up new projects or you want to uh, go into a new situation or accept a new promotion or do something scary. Because when you do something scary, that's when you really, really get a chance to test yourself and to work on yourself. And you really get black and white on paper, what is it I need to work on? What are my struggles? What is holding me back, actually? A lot of people don't really know or realize what is actually holding them back and what is keeping them where they are at the moment. And so what you want to do is you want to really push yourself. And the thing is, and this is really interesting, if you study personal growth. There is this theory called the hero's journey. And this has been worked on by Joseph Campbell. And Joseph Campbell, he believes that people tend to follow through a normal process of growth and it looks about the same for everyone. He says the hero's journey starts with a refusal of the call to action. So there is something you want to do but something that you have been saying no to or blocking yourself from thinking about. Sometimes it's even not even thinking about, no, I can't even think about that, or no, it's not possible. And so it can become something almost unconscious. You don't even realize it, but you're constantly closing the door on something or holding the door down from being opened. And so it can be a new relationship that you're afraid of. It can be a new promotion that's waiting if you just ask for it. It can be uh, something that is lying waiting for you just around the corner. The auxiliary function is represented by this very thing. The vulnerability of saying yes. The vulnerability of starting up something that you really don't want to start up or really you really, really fear trying. So I would argue that if you are saying yes to something or if you're going, going forward or if you're experiencing something as easy or effortless, it's not going to lead to growth. Anything that you can just say yes to, anything that you can just start up, any project, any strategy you can undertake, any new approach that you can fall into, is more likely than not just going to be your everyday behavior repeated, rehearsed, and done over and over again, masked as a new solution. So it can be that in where you think you're doing something new, where you think you are stepping out of your comfort zone, where you think you're doing something original to change your situation or starting up a new relationship, 
here you're going through the same old pattern, dating the same old people, or uh, going through the same old motions as you always do. And so it has to be something you're really afraid of, something you really fear, something you're really insecure about, something that you really are and find really, truly difficult. So it has to be a reach. And yes, I would argue that this reach should not be too high. It should not be jumping across a hill that just is impossible. It should always be a little bit more difficult than what you think you can handle. It should always be a little bit harder than what you expect. It should always be a little bit more than what you would have said yes to before. So what I like to do is top up my own decisions. If I say I'm going to do this, then I always want to say, I'm going to do this, but I'm also going to do that. So top up your own decisions and actions. What that means is reinforce your own behavior through higher and more challenging goals. So always aim a little bit higher than what you might want or might think is possible. And uh, that's the best way, way to get forward in life. And hopefully that's going to take you to the next career step or to the next relationship or to the next level of growth or the next... Uh, level of maturity i at least i hope so let me know what your experiences are of the auxiliary function and how you see this function in yourself thanks for watching and see you all in the next video